What day is it today, Wee Wee? Today is May 11th. Ha ha ha! May 11th. <laughs> That's because you schedule one of the <laughs> Shut up! At least I remembered. Okay. I don't know when this became a competition, but neither of us can ever remember the date. <laughs> so let's just bite the bullet on this one. We suck at that. Um, we're going to Annie's Orphans near. Uh, it's in, in. Yeah, technically it's in Durango. Yeah, super south though. <laughs> we're staying at Eco Basin. Or Eco. Echo. Echo. Echo Basin, which is about 45 minutes from Annie's. Yeah. And it's actually Paint. very yeah. worth the travel time. Pink party. Pink party, yeah. And they're letting us bring the pups. I tell people uh, he's baby bear, he's papa bear, and I'm mama bear. There you go. The family. Does that mean you're going to foster fail on this one? <laughs> I don't know. This one is so... He imprinted on me and he is oh. so attached. And I, and I got to admit, I'm pretty attached. Come but, here. You look just like my boots. Like, Mom, Mom, give me the okay. Is it okay? Yeah, I keep... I, carry treats around for people to give him trying to socialize oh, him. Oh wait, we have treats. Oh cool. He, he acts like I'm <laughs> the only person in the world that can touch him. It's okay. He'll the take rest the of humanity is somewhat nice. He'll take the treat and then he backs up. I know, but he's not seeing this one. There you go. Mm. Can I pet you? Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> he does look like boots and cash together. Yeah. <laughs> You bad boy, mister. You on my radar. So unfortunately, we lost all the audio of the awesome interview we did with Annie from Annie's Orphans. And so I figured I would maybe kind of um, discuss some of the stuff her and I talked about, or her and Wee Wee and I talked about. Um, well, one thing we wanted to note, it is spotless. All the kennels are huge. Um, lined with pebbles, which at first I was kind of like, eh, I wish they had grass, but then when I noticed what the pebbles do, so basically all these pebbles, when the dogs go to the bathroom, number two, um, and you go to pick it up, you actually pick up everything, you lose some of the pebbles in the process, however, it's not like with grass or dirt, where some of it stays on the ground, um, at other shelters, we've noticed that even in play yard, even if there's no poop around, it kind of stinks, um, and that is... Probably the main reason why is they are all dirt or grass. And so when you go to clean up the poop, um, some of it does stay behind. And it also keeps the mud down. So every time she has a rain, um, the dogs don't get all nasty. Um, they stay in their, in their little houses, of course. But um, when they go back out after it's rain, even if there's a bunch of water everywhere, um, the crates are really not or the kennels are really not messy, which is pretty great. Um, the enclosures are huge. I mean, I can't even, like, begin to explain how much space these guys have. And the more wound up dogs have the larger spaces, whereas some of the smaller dogs, older dogs, have the smaller spaces since, you know, they don't move around as much. Um, everybody has either one or two shelters. And in the wintertime, one of them is always heated. They had wiring go into every single kennel, which was pretty great as well. Um, the water is changed twice a day, and the kennels are clean constantly. I saw one lady go into the same kennel like five times because that dog stress poops and stress eats. And so she just kept going in there and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning, even though she had already done his. And, you know, in most places, they would just leave it until the next day. Um, one other thing I really liked is that she rotates the dogs. So she will change their, um, change them from locations, which gives them a different scenery, a different view, um, different neighbors, and um, kind of like a general stimulus. You know, they spend the first three days peeing on everything. So that's really stimulating for them. Um, in terms of, like, who does what, um, Annie does not have employees. She is literally operating for month to month and um, paycheck to paycheck kind of situation. And uh, she cannot hire a staff. She has a couple people that work a couple days a week. Um, but most of the people that help her, she's got, like, three, not full-time, but, like, 
um, constant volunteers. So three people that come all the time. They do everything they can to help. And they come on their time off. They come when they're not scheduled. Um, they are definitely there to just help in any way they can. And um, so she doesn't really have a staff. She does get a lot of volunteers. But what she does get a lot of is kind of funny. It's a community service. So apparently the local shelter is not the greatest there. Um, we didn't go visit because... Uh, I cry a lot and that would have probably been bad, but, um, she gets a lot of the community service will come to her and, um, we met a few of them and one of them was a general contractor and he did a bunch of fencing for them, which was pretty great. Um, Annie does everything in terms of admin, raising funds, running the place day to day. She, you should have seen the bubbles on her phone. She had like 5,000 emails, 2,700 tags, and I'm not minimizing here. This is, she really, I was like taking a picture of those bubbles, um, but she really did. Um, and so she does everything in terms of like all the paperwork, um, all the adoptions, all the rescuing, you know, pulling dogs from other shelters. She gets tagged and stuff. Her heart breaks. She doesn't have space. She still takes them, puts them in her house. I mean, she does everything, all the admin stuff. She does have somebody that manages her Facebook and her Instagram for her, which is something I think is very smart because it's actually, she does have a pretty good presence. Unlike other places that we've been to, um, she's posting regularly and not just about her dogs, just generally stuff to keep people interested in thumbs upping stuff. So that's pretty good. Um, William, her husband, is amazing. Um, he is golly a hard-working man but he kind of deals with all the day-to-day -day. so making sure all the dogs are fed everything is stocked he walks around with treats in his pockets and every dog knows that and it's just adorable but um yeah william is a really really hard worker he also does the majority of the laundry from what i understood and if anybody has ever done even just two hours of laundry at a shelter uh it takes a uh, dedication uh and love <laughs> lots and lots of love because those things can get pretty nasty and everybody has blankets that get changed out all the time they all have toys which needs to get washed i mean you name it there's laundry everywhere but yeah for that um um one thing she was also noting is that a lot of her dogs come from new mexico and a lot from the reservations a lot of these dogs are, she gets a lot of dogs that are abused and she has a whole area that her dogs are going to be there forever. She gives them really nice kennels and stuff, but they're not deemed adoptable. And um, they do get as much human contact as humanly possible. And um, we met a couple of them and they honestly seem pretty happy except for the chaos of being in a shelter um they are normally deemed unadoptable if they are aggressive and or not dog friendly if they've bitten or had multiple bite histories um but otherwise are completely healthy she definitely spends a lot more time trying to come up with stimulation for these guys um from toys treats kongs you name it she really tries she goes the extra mile so um all in all annie's orphan was a great stop for us we worked our butts off with those pebbles felt like we were exhausted and had ran a couple marathons um but we loved it so much we actually came back for a third day and um just hung out with the puppies and talked to annie and that's where i interviewed her and lost all the sound so yay <laughs> i'm glad i'm making these mistakes now when nobody's really watching our videos versus later hopefully when you guys do watch our videos <laughs> and find them interesting enough Okay, so today is very hard labor. Wait, wait, is it hard labor? A little. No. <laughs> yeah, she's just playing it off. But we are basically redoing all the kennels. Pebbles. And actually, we love this. This is really giving Pebbles. us good ideas. Pebbles. Pebbles. <laughs> but it's... Bubbles. Don't, don't Bubbles. damn it. Bubbles. She did that on purpose. We're going to get her back somehow. Okay, let's go see some those puppies? Those puppies. Oh, those are the puppies we need to do, though. But we're going to go say hi. <laughs> Rihanna can't. Okay, let's go say hi to the puppies. Oh, bye. Will you be here tomorrow? No, there'll be another oh. a different guy here tomorrow. Oh, okay. bummer. It was nice to meet you. Too. Tell me quickly, who are you, what are you doing, why do you do it? 
<laughs> I'm Shannon Rose. I'm volunteering and um, for Annie's Orphans for three years. And what was the other question? Why do you do it? Because I love them so much. Yep. It's just pure love. Just pure, I mean, how could you? I mean, like, look at these guys. How could you not just love it? Yes, yeah. I feel very grateful that I get to be a part of this. Well, thanks for your efforts. Yeah, you guys too. So nice to meet you. You well, too. Okay. They have a they have a whole little house. Hi, you puppy. You baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you cute? Hello. Hello. Okay. This is the one good thing about shoveling poop. We get to come here and do this. Hi, come here, come here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you don't know how to be picked up? She went limp, like. Aww. You've never been picked up? Oh my goodness, I can see her smile from here. Oh my goodness, hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Every time I've said I hated puppies, I take it all back. You guys are so dope. I can't. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. This one loves. Oh, oh my goodness. This God. one loves. Oh, I don't know why I always say I don't like puppies. You're cute when you're like these. And then you start eating everything and you start pooping in everything and then your little sharp teeth I goes really in. I don't mind like the puppy work. As far as like the poop and the pee and the chewing and stuff. I don't know. I guess I'm very anti-puppies because of the shelter. Like yeah. they no, get adopted yeah, in two seconds. But, yeah, no, I... I get so annoyed. Oh, look at that pink in the tongue. It's so perfect. Fluffy. Okay, it sounds like dog now. Yeah, it does. Just drink this drink. Bye.